In this video, we're going to take a quick look at working with the OSL Texture node. So for this video, I'm using the Machinery 01.MA scene. I'm going to select this surface right here and open up the Attribute Editor to the glossy material that's applied to it. And next to Diffuse, I'll click on this checker box to bring up the Create Render Node window. And from Textures, I can find the Octane OSL Texture. So I'll click on that to attach it to the node. So here are the attributes for the OSL texture. If I click on the edit button, it opens up the small OSL editor. And this allows you to directly script the texture that's going to be applied to the material. So OSL stands for Open Shading Language. It's a language developed by Sony and now has been released to the community. And it's been integrated into Octane for Maya. So you can either script from scratch or you can go check out the uh, documentation at docs.otoy.com slash OSL. And there are some examples in here. So here's a very simple example that creates a Mandelbrot pattern, this type of pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this code. So I'll do control C to copy it. Let's move this out of the way. And then control V to paste it. And once the code has been pasted in there, I'll, I'll press this arrow button here to compile the script. And once it's compiled, you can see here is the Mandelbrot pattern on our plane. And close this for a moment. Go back into that OSL texture, and you'll notice under extra attributes, it's added a number of attributes based on that script. So I can say increase the number of iterations. Let's say set this to 200. You can see we get this pattern here. And then we can also adjust these settings right here. So these settings right here are created by this code as well as the pattern. So there are a number of OSL scripts that you can find online. Be aware that not every script out there is compatible with Octane for Maya. And some can actually crash your scene. So use with caution. The docs.otoy.com slash OSL has a nice guide to working with OSL as well as how to start scripting your own unique uh, Open Shader Language scripts. In addition to the OSL texture, there's also an OSL projection node. So let's take this surface, for example. I'm going to apply a glossy material to it. And then in the attributes for the glossy material, click on this checker box next to Diffuse. And for my texture, I'll use the Octane checks texture. So this is the standard checkerboard pattern. I'll click on the button next to projection, open up the create render node window to the projection nodes and click on Octane OSL projection. And then let's open the edit button to open up the script editor here. Now you need a script for an Octane projection. So this might involve a little bit of either coding or searching around online. I have found a code in the Otoy uh, forums. And this was uh, provided by the user Milan M. So I'm going to copy this, control C, and paste it in here, and then press the compile button. And we can see that the projection now produces the series of dots for our checker pattern, which is kind of interesting. That's the basics of working with OSL scripts in Octane for Maya.